everyone. I'm Hiten Shelar. I'm the author of Astrophysics for Non-Mathematicians book and again of my new book Cosmology for a Newbie. Today in this video I'm going to explain you guys all about my astro uh, all about my book Astrophysics for Non-Mathematicians and which is a 214 pages long book and I'm going to explain you guys like what this book covers and how much it has its scope in the subject of astrophysics. So when I was a kid and my when my mathematical background was not that much built when I was not an astrophysicist I used to struggle with mathematics a lot because I was a guy which was very fascinated in black holes actually like my two books you know the like majority of part of these two books is on black holes and people love the part of my black holes I have received a lot of comments from people that they like the black hole part of my book so much so as a kid I used to always was I was always fascinated about black holes but when I used to hear about this, things like tensors stress energy tensor let's say and metric tensor and stuff like that and that used to scare me a lot because I was like I used uh, black holes are so much fascinating that you know I was to, I I wanted to know like what how it operates and what is inside black hole and stuff like that and again there were many definitions like entropy stuff like that which then I did not know about so later then I studied astrophysics and, and now I'm an astrophysicist or as an astrophysics author now say so after becoming you know, becoming an astrophysicist my curiosity got fulfilled like whatever questions I had about whatever questions I had about black holes and astrophysics in general like I got the answers to this question but now I want to help the past version of myself and people who had this have the same curiosity same kind of curiosity right now so I written a book I decided to write a book where I can use my full potential to convert the mathematical knowledge to non-mathematical so if I give that if I gone and pass let's say by whatever means and give this book to the past version of mine who was very fascinated about black holes and astrophysics so this book would be like one of this the greatest book I ever read literally and I expect the value which I'm delivering to pass myself and pe people who are having the same kind of interest this book is gonna help you a lot that's what I think because when I think about my past when I have so much quiz about stuff like that but then I could not understand mathematics and stuff but if I gifted my past this book it was like it would be the greatest book I ever read literally so I I have a conviction that this book you know will help people who uh, uh, who have a similar craze might be you can be of any age so this book talks about all about astrophysics stuff non mathematically and I have uh, tried to get like most of my uh, most of the mathematics in the form of pure imagination so the book as it names astrophysics for non mathematicians it does not cover entire astrophysics because we still need mathematics because mathematics like we can't escape from it but okay a few things we can get into the pure imagination but not entirely so the thing is that uh, astrophysics for non mathematics does this work for you it converts the mathematical knowledge of astrophysics and convert it into pure imagination and i bet this book will cover uh, you know fulfill all all your curiosities about like basically all curiosities about our universe and that can be black holes what is inside it and what is big bang and what is the you know cosmic horizon and stuff like that what is light what are the light cones and what is theory of relativity what is the Rindler horizon and then and what is about quantum mechanics what is